Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation for both ungrouped data and group data using the calculator. So let's take the ungrouped data first. So to do that, you click on the mode key. Mode. Then you choose option 3. That is start. Okay. Then you go to option 1. That is 1 minus VAR. So a single table displays. That's for X. Okay. Now. So what we are going to do is to enter the data. So let's enter the data into this. So the first value is what? 22. So we enter 22. Then you press equal to. Then you, the next one is 15. So we enter the fifth. Then we press equal to. And the next is 17. Then the equal to. Then the next is 15. Then the equal to. Then the next is 27. Then the equal to. And the next value is 19. 19. Then press the equal to. So after this, then you click on AC. Okay. The table is not gone actually. It's, it's still within the calculator. So now let's command the computer to process the data for us in our own interest. That is to find the mean, the standard deviation and the variance for us. So to do that, after fixing everything in the table and then pressing AC, then you click on shift. Make sure something displays at the top there is shift. After clicking the shift, then you click on one. So you have something like this. Type data sum VAR DISTR and then mean max. So you go to option 4, VAR. Now, option 2 means the mean. Okay. Option 3 means the population standard deviation. In case the data is a population question, you go to option 3. And option 4 means sample standard deviation. In case it is a sample question, then you choose option 4. So let's choose option 2 to get the mean. So you press equal to sign. So you have the mean to be 19.17 in two decimal places. Okay. If, uh, whether it's population or sample, you definitely get the mean to be the same. So X bar still means mu in terms of mean. Okay. Now, we know the mean to be 19.17, isn't it? So let's see how to get um, the standard deviation. So you go back to the one. Your table is still there constant, okay? So you go back to the one, the shift and one. So you click on shift, shift, and then one. So, you click on shift, one, and then you have this again then you choose option four if it is population you choose option three then you press equal to sign you get 4.26 in two decimal places okay 4.26 so this is the population standard deviation okay now if you want to get a population variance then you shift then you square it. If standard deviation is 4.25, to get variance, you, you have to square standard deviation to get a variance. So variance is 18.14 in two decimal places. That's for population. But if the question is a sample question, when you click on shift and you choose option one and you go to four, you should go to option four, sample standard deviation. 
you get 4.67 in two decimal places okay 4.67 if you square the sample standard deviation you should be able to get a sample variance so this is just for ungrouped data this is for ungrouped data so let's look at how to find it for a group data as well now having this group data having this group data what we're going to do is to find the class midpoint first class midpoint so let me write xm here class midpoint so to get a class midpoint we say lower class plus upper class divided by two isn't it it should be three plus nine okay. so three plus nine divided by two this is two. this is supposed to be nine so three plus nine is twelve divided by two you get six and then 10 plus 16 is 26 divided by 2 you get 13 and then 17 plus 23 is 40 divided by 2 you get 20 and then the next one 24 plus 30 is 54 divided by 2 you get 27 then the last one 31 plus 37 is 68 and divided by 2 you get 34 so you're going to consider the midpoint as your x so to solve it on calculator this is different from um, the group data one to do this you press shift you choose shift and then one shift a mode then you press it down here and down here you see start at four so you select option four so you see it displays frequency on or off so you on it by choosing option one So after owning the frequency, then you go back to the previous process we used for the ungrouped data by selecting mode, by clicking on mode, and then you click on 3, start, then you click on 1. So you see that this time around the table is different. We have X and frequency, <coughs> as you can see. So let's fix the X and the frequencies. So for the x, the first x is what? The first x, the midpoint is 6. So let's fix it there. 6. So we press the equal to. And then the second x is what? 13. And we press the equal to. And the third x is 20. Then the next one is 27. This one equal to then 27. Then we press equal to. And the next one is 34. Then we press equal to. Then, then we fix their various frequencies. Okay. So the frequency of the first one is 4 so we press 4 then we equal to then the frequency of the second one is 12 12 so equals then the frequency of the third one is 2 equals the frequency of the next one is 5 equals 
then the frequency of the last one is seven so we have the table complete so you press ac then you press shift one i didn't get a shift shift one then you go to option four so if you want the population you go to option two if you if you want the mean you go to option two whether population mean or sample okay but if you want population standard deviation you go to option three sample standard deviation you go to option four to get variance you square the various standard deviations so let's assume it's a population question and we want the standard deviation you choose option three then you press equal to you get 9.97 as a standard deviation to get a variance just square your answer just square your answer you get a variance to be 99.58 in two decimal places so that is the end of this thank you